Hi everyone and welcome to a new tutorial. This one takes about 35 to uh, 42 seconds to prep, about an hour to apply and we spent a tiny amount of money on that 3D goo gel. So let's do this. And yeah, as you see, a new set there is taking place, getting ready almost. So we kick it off with some clay and we're gonna create the little eye from this. Just roll it up, warm it up. And then we are taking a teaspoon and just mush that in there, press it like that. And it gets that really, really nice eye shape. And my guess is that everyone has access to a teaspoon, but if not, find something else that it, that is round and push that clay into. All right, we cut off some excess, bring out the skin adhesive and no, okay. That is one mother f lid to be, yeah. Anyway, apply that skin adhesive to the clay as well as your skin and and it's right there. Pushing down the edges a little bit there when it's in place and you're done. Next step, skin tight, a uh, three-part sculpting gel. So we mix part A and B, and when they are mixed, they turn solid after a few minutes. And to um, control how solid it is to work with, we add a few drops of a solidifying agent as well. There you go. Mix it up and start applying it and it's uh, an eyelid and uh, sort of an eye shape we are aiming for that might not be the easiest thing in the world to achieve but do your best and a tiny bit of oil on the finger there wiping out these edges fading them out into the skin so we get a nice borderless edgeless edge if you can say that even. Anywho, so there we are. And of course that clip wasn't recorded, but if you want to keep a check on when that um, 3D mix is set on your skin, simply feel in the jar you mixed it in. When it's dry there, it's dry on your skin as well. All right, so we set it with a bit of powder and then go in with foundation matching it up to our skin. We are creating a blind white eye, but you can, of course, create whatever you want in that for you. To give it that shiny eye look, we go over it with a coat of sealer. So there you go. And the shout goes to SFX Tree. Go check her creations out. This is a young artist doing awesome stuff. All right, having a non-sponsored drink there and continuing with the eye color. We're going for an inner line here of red and then fading it out towards more dark uh, brown earth tones. So begin with that red along the edge. And speaking of edges, are you on edge right now because of this uh, slightly difficult <laughs> Corona situation or are you just chilling relaxing? Uh, let us know in the comments what you think this all will turn out to be Ellie thinks this will be over by uh, August and uh, things will be pretty much back to Yeah, the new normal Whereas I'm thinking we are not even close to being back to normal until I don't know about in a year 18 months two years maybe um, so what are your thoughts on this pandemic we are living through? Might sound wild, but I've always uh, wanted to live through an apocalypse, you know. But I figure it would be zombies or something else, but not a virus. However, what's kind of cool to know is that we are living in a time that will be written hard into history. And yeah, speaking of history, Ellie's makeup is history here. Uh, she kind of regretted how it turned out, so I went over it with some sealer, concealer and foundation again and went back and redid it. So there is the shading on the eye. 
Of course, this is pretty free for you to do whatever you want with color wise. Here we are going in with a uh, eyeliner. In this case, it's a really a fake eyeliner since it's, since it's a fake eye as well. Ellie keeping at it with the blending of those dark tones there. Looking good, looking good. Adding a bit of punch there and the coloring. That thin line along the lash line. And speaking of lashes, let's throw on some falsies here. There we go. Fake lashes on a fake eye in Swedish is Lossas Franza. Put Lossas Erga. And that eye is popping a bit too wide, so we go in with a slightly beige dark tone there to bring it down a bit. That's better. And of course, another coat of a transparent sealer there. If you don't have a sealer, you can use a clear nail polish as well. Works just as fine. Now a little pink on those lips. <laughs> yeah, like that. And um, a line on that as well. Defining it. Keeping the lips in check. And then, of course, Ellie's highlight of the day, namely the highlights. <laughs> um, yeah, and it's important here, as you will find out, that you also <laughs> put highlight on that uh, quarantine chin underneath. <laughs> there we go. And yeah, Ellie needs some advice from you guys. Okay, so we're just gonna take a little break. I just got a new little hole in my ear, piercing. I don't know if it's colorful. Um, and I'm thinking about getting one more. I have this one here, I have this one, and the normal one, and I usually have big earrings. So, there's two different ones. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a little glitter dot in my ear. Oh, this is a project. It's so either I will do one here, it didn't work. It's very good if it works, actually, I'm thinking. And no? I'm just gonna get a new one. I mean, I missed. I missed. Okay, so either I will do this one here. You see this? Mm, I think that's pretty cool. Okay, this is pretty cool. So this is the number one. Or I will get a new one because this one is not anymore okay or I will do this and this is a tricky one because I don't know how that I will, how I will reach in or I will do should have a pair of like tweezers this. oh that's cool it'll be a bit to the side so it's more like straight yeah like straight so you can see it when you're looking straight yeah yeah so it's gonna go through like in the back here yeah. whoops oopsie mm -hmm. oh wait oh okay that's a rod it's not gonna be good for photos. Oh, well, you got it. Okay, so one, either one here or one here. And I only have one on this side, so I'm probably gonna make more on that side too, but I usually have a bang sound on this side, so you can't see it. So, one or two. Your choice, pick it. And with that, we are ready. Pretty uh, simple and uh, casual look, I would say, but it's kind of cool. So yeah, tell us what you think in the comments and we will be back as soon as we can. Bye.